On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of its pumpkin patch and flies through the air with its bag of toys for all the children. You've had me in deep hypnosis, and I asked you not to do that.
beautiful girl. He was able to hypnotize you. As if you'd awakened from a horrible dream.
For who could crouch blindly while a legion of croaking, baying entities of unknown source flopped noisily past, scarcely more than a hundred yards away? Susie! I thought I was prepared for the worst. Influenced by the shocking writing of... Their forms vaguely suggested the anthropoid, while their heads were the heads of fish with prodigious bulging eyes that never closed. At the sides of the necks were palpitating gills, and their long paws were webbed. They hopped irregularly, sometimes on two legs, and sometimes on four. I was somehow glad that they had no more than four limbs. Thank you. 
terminated by the vampire. <laughs> Thank you. 
one way to judge a man's brilliance, and that's by the size of his bank account.
song? It was recorded right after Paula Bell died. You understand what I'm saying, right? She was already dead when she sang this. There's no title on the jacket, but this has to be it. The music has bizarre intonation, and the singing is almost disinterested. I heard rumors of its existence. Now I've heard it. <laughs> Music. 
Oh, hey, we're gonna go to the graveyard. Oh, are you gonna do something there? Nah, we're just gonna hang out and drink age-appropriate drinks. Like the juice? Yeah, and whatever. Age-appropriate stuff that's not illegal. Hey, you should come, you should come, come, come. come.
Gym Rex? What's Gym Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? sanity. Pray it isn't true. The legend of Hell House.
say, aren't you a little too early? What do you mean? I mean, it doesn't seem like you're ready to join us just yet. Join you? Yeah, no, I'm just passing through. Folks don't tend to pass through Pottsfield. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's nice here.
face to face with your fears. Come face to face with tales that witness madness. Come face to face with terror beyond your wildest nightmares. Enter an asylum from which you may never escape. Leave all your sanity behind. It can't help you now. Babalu can destroy it. I will destroy it. And you.
the shuttered room. One. At dusk, the wild, lonely country guarding the approaches to the village of Dunwich in north central Massachusetts seems more desolate and forbidding than it ever does by day. Twilight lends the barren fields and domed hills a strangeness that sets them apart from the country around that area. It brings to everything a kind of sentient, watchful animosity, to the ancient trees, to the briar-bordered stone walls pressing close upon the dusty road, to the low marshes with their myriads of fireflies and their incessantly calling whippoorwills vying with the muttering of frogs and the shrill songs of toads, to the sinuous windings of the upper reaches of the Muscatonic flowing among the dark hills seaward, all of which seem to close in upon the traveler as if intent upon holding him fast beyond all escape. On his way to Dunwich, Abner Waitley felt all this again, as once in childhood he had felt it, and run screaming in terror to beg his mother to take him away from Dunwich, to Grandfather Luther Waitley. So many years ago, he had lost count of them. It was curious that the country should affect him so, pushing through all the years he had lived since then. The years at the Sorbonne, in Cairo, in London, pushing through all the learning he had assimilated since those early visits to grim old Grandfather Waitley in his ancient house, attached to the mill along the Miskatonic, the country of his childhood, coming back now out of the mists of time, as were it but yesterday that he had visited his kinfolk. But nothing could erase that final cataclysmic knowledge seared into his mind, the key to which he had had all along and not known it, the knowledge implicit in his own memories, as well as in the notes Luther Wakely had left, the chunks of raw meat he had childishly supposed were going to be prepared in Ansari's room, instead of to be eaten raw, the reference to R, who had come back at last, after having escaped back to the only home, R knew. The seemingly unrelated reference is also in his grandfather's hand, the missing cow, the sheep, and the remains of other animals, the hideous suggestion clearly defined now in those entries of Luther Waitley's about R's size commensurate with the amount of food, and he must be kept on a careful diet and to a controllable size, like the Innsmouth people, controlled to nothingness after Sarah's death, with Luther hoping that foodless confinement might shrivel the thing in the shuttered room and kill it beyond revival, despite the doubt that it led him to adjure Abner to kill everything in it that lives, the thing Abner had unwittingly liberated when he broke the pain and kicked out the shutters, liberated to seek its own food and its hellish growth again, at first with fish from the Miskatonic, then with small animals, then cattle, and at last human beings, the thing that was half Batrachian, half human, but human enough to come back to the only home that had ever known, and to cry out in terror for his mother in the face of the fatal holocaust, the thing that had been born to the unblessed union of Sarah Waitley and Ralsa Marsh, spawn of tainted and degenerate. There's something wrong with me. I have the ability to kill.
We're afraid you might laugh at us. I'm not laughing. What is the purpose of this autopsy? You believe a, a monster lurks in each of us. Anyone ever checks in, nobody ever checks out. <laughs> 
for survival, kill or we die, there's no other choice.
struggling for survival. Kill or we die. No other choice. In our dying world, no one is cruel. No one does. We're struggling for survival. Kill or we die. There's no other choice. animalistic, the monster, the 
lies within each of us. His heart action is unnaturally fast. I call that a stab in the heart. I'm sorry, is there any music?
come out of the lake, 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 lake. and she must kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us.
should be dead, but he's still breathing. Oh, my God. 
is admitted. And now, twelve long hours before the sun will rise, drive them back to darkness.
once a dead man, always a dead man.
child wants to play hide and go kill. Chamber of Commerce. I find you guilty of trespassing, destruction of property, disturbing the peace, and murder. Murder? Oh, no, not murder. But those other crimes, I sentence you to read all that you may.
not a who, it's a what. I think something is causing domestic dogs to pack and attack people. Two people have been killed already. One of them is a student of a fight. It's terrible, yes, but you have no evidence it was done by your. Logically, he should have been dead long ago, but there's no such thing as logic anymore. Crazy kid up. Yeah, he's really scared.
The incredible story of a man and snake. They shared a bond of trust in a world of hate. I'm sorry, Stanley, but you're gonna have to stay in the truck. People just don't understand friendly rattlesnakes. Exploit the horror by extracting its advantage. The bad which justifies the good. That is.
to show you a few scenes of this movie, which is called The Wizard of Gore. For those of you who appreciate this type of cinematic art.
Trick or treat's not till October. Every day is trick or treat around here.
I wasn't supposed to go out tonight. I sneaked out. Some sort of a monster was seen around town last night. <laughs>
suggest you take a cold shower.
what time it is?
hybrid, faintly at first. But could it be the coffin lid nearest you seems to be starting to open?
grave and wilt on human blood, could he ever deny the horrible evil within himself?
eyes go white. Uh, don't mind him, he's just unsociable. So Thank you. 
Who's in there? Oh, my God. Who's in there? Drive-in massacre. It will make your blood run cold. Cold, 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 cold. The way he made fun of me the other day when I told him about this monster woman. The grown-up girl who decides to believe in dreams. I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked.
gets to me is that those that try to cast out witches suffer terribly themselves. You wouldn't believe that they're supposed to be the good guys. Good guys, 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 guys. But if this thing is actually killing people, then why is the mayor trying to keep it quiet? Potatoes. Potatoes? Around here, that means big money.
don't miss the most unusual and exciting horror motorcycle film yet made. Werewolves on Wheels, starring Steve Oliver and Severn Darden. The story of a motorcycle gang who ride into a new kind of hell. <laughs> That a creature looked in her window, and on a bathing suit. Honey, the day someone as pretty as you turns into a monster, well then the moon is gonna come down in my backyard. <laughs>
The Rock and Ghost. The Rock and Ghost. The Rock and Ghost. The Rock and Ghost. The Rock and Ghost.
He's dashing. He's uh, dreamy. He's delightfully dramatic. But he's demented. Uh, and he's the star of Demented Death Bar Massacre, the movie. He's dead. But another man, too. His assistant. The lab is a shambles. <laughs> he's a strange one. The heart resumes its normal beat.
affect other people's brains? Absorbed through the eyes.
was the last time you were startled by a sound in the night? What if this time it wasn't just the wind? What if this haunting sound kept you awake night after night? What if it was just a warning? What if it was the last sound you ever heard? Thing out there has got my face.
course in terror 
at the dorm that dripped blood. Oh, great. What's wrong? The phone's dead. Did you hear anything up on the roof? Do you think we need to go up there? Need to? Yeah, we don't need to do anything.
a child, did they warn you about the boogeyman? The boogeyman. He's going to get you. you, 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 you. Here is the first motion picture to offer to the daring a look into the final maddening space between life and death.